Hi everyone. Okay, today we are going to speak about Renault Zoe, water pump, hour control, and uh, this like check electric system on your dashboard. So you may be here because you have this light on check electric system. It's happening maybe because you have a 12 volt battery issue. Don't worry, this is only a small battery. Um, you may have to replace it. It's more than four years old. Or it could be um, linked to the water pump. Water pump uh, has an um, hour counter. After 10,000 hours of working, you get this light on. It means uh, uh, we know recommend to replace it, but you do not have to. So let's speak first about the water pump. On this um, car, the water pump is different from other water pump because it's an electric water pump. It's like a fan, an electrical fan. Um, the water pump is used to cool the electronics and it's not used for cooling the engine except for the first continental motors um, with, and uh, it's not uh, used as well for the battery the battery is cooled by air and not for with water so first we're going to check why you have this light on you're going to need a dongle so I recommend to go on uh, AliExpress or Amazon and check for um, look for a device. I recommend some basic device first, um, so you can uh, in your search bar you can uh, type in ODB2 Bluetooth. So the, the model with two euros model is is fine, it's fully fine. Uh, you can use it with your smartphone and uh, with an apps like Talk. You should be able to read the full code on your car and any other car. So with this device, very useful. So the other one you could buy is the green one, the Conway. Conway, um, communi Zoe community uh, owners like the Conway because with the Conway you can also check the battery sh sh uh, state, the main battery state and um, yeah, voltage, etc., etc. Another one I like is that one. Uh, because that one uh, has a screen and you do not need a smartphone to use it. I like to uh, this one because all my friends come into my place and ask, hey, can you check my light, my light on my dashboard? You look, can you look for any full code? So I just have to plug in this device and I get the full code. Warning, uh, having this kind of device, do not fix your car. It's just showing what is the issue. And even if you reset the fault, most of the time it comes back the next day. So this is not magic. So now we're going to plug in and look for any of this code. PO171, PO463, or DSO27. All of these are linked to the water pump counter. So let's start this tutorial on how to reset that counter. First, we're going to need a cable. You can buy it on Amazon or even on AliExpress, it's fine. Uh, you can count around 20 euros. I recommend this orange one and purple one and with a um, cable interface, USB cable interface, um, because it's easier to use than uh, Bluetooth and stuff like that, which re requires um, drivers. Then let's go to an, um, DGT for all website and then you can downloaded but in this tutorial you can download that one but I will show you an easier way I will put in a link in the description uh, a direct link for downloading it and in my link there's already a database a Renault database included the um, Renault database is required because it includes all the version of um, chips which are in your cars and all Renault cars so, yeah, easiest way is to use a demo link below. You will uh, link to Mega and then you can press download. On my computer, it's already downloaded. You can extract it. Then, please install DTG for all. Okay, once uh, this default is installed, 
you can launch it. Um, here I will use the demo mode. I will not connect to the car. I will go later with the car. So you can select directly demo just for demonstration. Okay, now on the top left, you're going to select uh, Reno Zoe X10, Reno Zoe. Then the ship we want to connect with is EVC. You can select whatever um, version you, we don't care. Then development. And safeguard EEPROM, it could be backup EEPROM, that depends on the language. Then there's um, three or four different counter you need to reset. On the right, you will find number for um, for control, you need to reset. The last one is for uh, younger uh, Zoe after 2017, you are fourth, a fourth counter. Um, if you connect it with, to the car, you you should be able to see already the values and calculate how old is your water pump. The value displayed is in seconds, so you will have to divide by 300, 600 second and you get a total of hours then to force the values you will go on top left manual request there's a warning saying hey be careful then you go directly on the really bottom 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 you have to go to data right and look for this counter not data read data right and we have four counter here to reset The four counters are corresponding to different uh, speed of working of the water pump. Low speed, medium speed, high speed. And the fourth one is driving speed. So I select the first one here, 249. Then value, you select zero and execute. Because I'm in the demo mode, I'm not connected. At my computer and uh, my car, uh, it's not going to affect anything, it's just for demonstration for now. And then later on the video, I'll show you in my car how to do that. Okay, one more. The last one is a bit uh, lower, it's, you have to look for it. Found it here. WEP, WEP mean water engine pump, driving water engine pump on timer. And then zero and execute. After that, you can close it, close the window, and um, now you should be able to see new values around zero and start increasing. Okay, let's switch to the car now for a real demonstration. Okay, we are now back in my car. Um, so I use my laptop and the cable we saw earlier on Amazon. First, you have to put your car in diagnostic mode. So insert the card. Switch to D on the selector. D. Then press start and hold it, hold the press start button until it says remove the card. Then don't remove the card, release start button and put back select P mode. Okay, we're good. Now we're on jack mode. 
So this, you have to connect your cable, USB cable. Okay, you're good. Now we can start the TG4 all. I'm gonna show you again. Select. Then I have to select the cable I have. So ELM327, wire version, dark mode, I accept the risk, and connected mode, not demo mode anymore. Now the software is gonna to connect to the car. Here we go. So like in the demonstration, uh, you have first to select the car you, you are sorry for the reflex and bad quality. Let's look for X10 Renault Zoe. Sorry for this French software, but it should be the same uh, in the English version. X10 Renault Zoe. You may have different version. Uh, I always select the first one and it works fine. So EVC could be electrical vehicle control module. Sometimes say EVC, electrical control module. Um, sometimes uh, I try H4, but sometimes not working. So, uh, I couldn't find this, the option I was looking for. So I tried another one, H, RH3, which works better, I think. Anyway, uh, you can try both. Uh, if you can't find development menu, below, change the version of the chip. Then backup EEPROM or Softguard in French. Finally, you get the counter value. So mine is 216,000 seconds. Other ones are very low, I don't know why. Uh, maybe because we are in winter. So now let's calculate how many hours it makes. So 20, 200,000 divided by 3,600 seconds per hour. Which makes 60 hours ago, I already reset my counter. Let's go, request, manual request. Warning, this is your own risk. Accept it or leave. Now go directly on the bottom, very bottom. Don't go to data right, be careful. Data right. And then we are looking for these three counters 349, 34A, and 34B. You have a fourth one if, you are, if your car is a ZD40 or even 52 uh, kilowatt. A value is at zero and execute, and that's it. You, you already reset the first counter. Now you can see my first counter is, is set to 57 because the software did it 57 seconds ago. You have to do this for four of them. Four of them, sorry. After that, your um, light on the dashboard should be off. If that's not the case, reuse your ODB fault reader and reset the fault. Everything should go back to normal. Don't worry about the communication fault below. It does not affect here um, my, um, my tutorial. By the way, um, I, with this software, I also enable Android Auto on my car. Uh, so I have access to Google Maps, Waze, YouTube Music, and a lot of software. And uh, with dongle now, Android Auto is also um, wireless. So I don't. Any time I go in my old Renault Zoe, I get Android Auto like younger car. That's great. I will show you that in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Uh, you can leave a comment or question. I, I will answer you.